Good morning, oil traders. It is 8.01 a.m. here on September 6th on the East Coast in North America, and boy, do I look dumb. Uh, just buying more and more shorts as the bulls keep pushing us higher. We're well over $49 uh, this morning, and uh, I, I kind of expected uh, as much. Um, I thought that we might get a pullback before this happened, but uh, apparently that's not going to be the case. Um, we've got yet another hurricane, Irma this time, heading for Florida, and uh, worries around North Korea have uh, given a lot of muscle to the bulls. And uh, they're taking full advantage, pushing us. Um, we initially tested 49 and then broke right past it uh, this morning. And my gut says that we're going to open this high, or if not higher, uh, by the time uh, here North American markets open. Um, yeah, so yesterday my target, my ideal kind of quote unquote target for buying another short was uh, 49.20, and uh, we've made it there, um, just passed it right now. Um, that's going to remain my target, so. Uh, Hopefully we can hold there. Um, I would buy right at the open if we do manage to hold this level, buying short that is. Um, if we do manage to um, hold there and I do manage to get my short, um, I would be looking at buying a long if we do get a pullback um, drop, I mean. So if we do manage to drop back down to about the 48, 48.50-ish area, that's where I would purchase a long hedge before selling my shorts, um, one or more shorts. Uh, so this uh, is an adjustment or a tweak, if you will, to my previous approach. Um, it's a little bit more active trading than I've been doing in uh, the past, well, almost year or so. Um, I'm basically testing out a, a theory that I've had mulling in the back of my mind uh, around taking advantage of somewhat smaller moves. I've been uh, I had been aiming for roughly about a dollar plus move. Now I'm going to be aiming for kind of 60, 70 cent range moves. Um, so not a huge uh, deviation from the previous approach. Um, but I will also be taking hedge positions uh, much more frequently than I had been before. Um, so this is an experiment for me. It may prove to be an exper expensive experiment. So bear with me. Um, right now, trust me, I feel dumb. But uh, hopefully by the end of the day or by the end of the week or by the end of the month, I will feel a little bit less dumb <laughs> and hopefully a little bit richer. But we'll see. Uh, time will tell. Uh, as you know, I do still have that long at $52 that I've been holding while well, for pretty much forever. So as we do move up, at least I have the consolation prize of getting um, a better and better chance at exiting that position for a profit. Um, I, I don't think we're gonna get there, but hey, you never know. And that's why I've been holding that position for as long as I have. Uh, if we do uh, manage to keep going higher still after I purchase the short, um, I'll probably be looking for somewhere closer to um, uh, $50. Uh, that would be quite amazing uh, if we manage to get there, but uh, that's what I will be looking to get in at yet again uh, as a short position. So we shall see how the day unfolds. Let me know what you guys have planned. Uh, hit me up down below on the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio of trades and charts. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys towards end of trading session today at 4 p.m. Eastern time. Um, also, don't forget API news is today, API, not EIA, and EIA news will be tomorrow. Uh, that's Thursday instead of Wednesday. Uh, just keep that in the back of your minds for another reason for volatility in the crude markets. Until then, good luck. Cheers.